Well, just about an hour from now, the Spokane City Council expected to approve a $600 million budget for 2014. KXY4 Chef Humphrey working for you now with a look at what taxpayers will get for their money. Jeff? Nadine, public safety expenditures consume about half of our general fund, <clears throat> but this year we are actually getting some new hires for our tax dollars. Pending council approval tonight, people here on the South Hill, they're going to get the staffing they need to put this engine back on the road here at Fire Station 9, and we're getting a bunch of new cops. During his campaign, Mayor David Condon pledged to backfill the police officers. We've lost a budget cuts over the years, and Condon is keeping that promise. The budget calls for the largest hiring boost since Expo 74, the city has already started the training of 25 new officers at the Academy in Burien to put new patrolmen on the street as soon as possible. SPD is also stealing away experienced officers from other departments. On the fire side of the house, Spokane will be hiring one new firefighter for each shift here at Station 9. Across the board cutbacks last year left the flame dousing engine standing idle and delayed some responses to working fires. Fire Chief Bobby Williams says the new hiring will give Station 9 back its firefighting capabilities, even though the majority of calls for service in this neighborhood are medical. So we think it is an improvement to the circumstances that we have had during 2012 and will provide service to those uh, citizens in Station 9. Uh, so we look forward to the council's approval of that when they adopt the budget. Like the police department, it takes a while to train up new firefighters, so Station 9 won't likely see those staffing improvements until late spring. But Nadine, this is great news for anybody living on the South Hill, and particularly for the folks living in the heavily populated part of the Lower West Side. And Jeff, where you are at Station 9, when these new firefighters come on board, uh, depending on the call, they'll actually have a choice of what uh, piece of equipment they use to respond. And, and it's simply a way of making their operation more efficient. If it's a fire call, they're going to jump into the engine here. It's the one built to squirt water on fires. If it's a medical call, they're going to take the rescue truck. That's the one that has all of that important life-saving equipment inside. Reporting live on the South Hill, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4. Mm.